Yes. It's factor. I, I, I don't know really what you want. <laughs> yeah, because uh, <laughs> uh, we were just having, uh, we just came to check on uh, uh, His Excellency Honorable Akalonzo Musioka uh, in his home. As you may have been made aware, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, Honorable Akalonzo Musioka has been essentially under house arrest uh, since. Uh, Tuesday evening. Uh, so we came to check on him. And luckily, because uh, when you also guys also arrived, uh, those who had put him under house arrest also gave way. Uh, but he's in high spirits. And he's actively involved in our activities. Uh, we have engaged informally with him and uh, my colleague here uh, as a way of reviewing the progress of the positive action which is underway across the country. And we are very pleased that uh, the positive action, the resistance, the defiance has been very, very successful so far. So far. We take note of the fact that uh, Business has essentially come to a standstill across the country uh, uh, as a way of people demonstrating uh, their disappointment at the direction the country is taking. Uh, we shall be communicating to the country as a Zimio about plans for next week in due course. Within uh, uh, 48 to 72 hours, we shall be issuing a communication about next week. So we urge our people to stay firm and remain committed to the course. Uh, we know that there have to be sacrifices uh, which have to be made if Kenyans are to realize their dream. We still take note that uh, a number of our people are still under arrest and uh, we are continue to demand that they be released unconditionally, unconditionally. We want to encourage our people to remain peaceful wherever they are, extremely peaceful wherever they are, uh, and uh, abide by the law, whether under provocation or not. Thank you. We, we have seen a number of... Uh Cars belong to the diplomats leaving Kalonzo's place in AU, EU, US, UN. Uh, what was happening? So what were they doing here today? I didn't quite see them myself. So I don't know. You know, this is a free world. People move around. Yes. And, and Wanda, could you explain the under house arrest, how it was executed? Maybe you, were people placed at the gate or... How was it being executed and who are they? Now, I don't want to get into details again about that. The information we have been given by His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka, information which, of course, you know, uh, by now should be public knowledge, is that uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka's freedom was curtailed, or has been curtailed since Tuesday evening. And uh, we hope that... Uh, Whoever is responsible will desist from the same and allow him to enjoy his uh, liberty and freedom of movement yeah. going forward. So are you saying there was no meeting whatsoever with uh, Azimio, with this, uh, the, 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 the foreign envoys? The purpose, the purpose of this communication to the media at this juncture is confined to what I have said already, uh, not anything else. So I'm neither confirming nor denying anything else. Thank you. Is this house arrest uh, only confined to the principal Kalonzo Musioka or the other principals? No, for today I will only talk about Kalonzo Musioka. Let, let, yes. me, let, me, uh, <laughs> let me say this also, and I totally associate myself with the comments of our, our reader. 
and say that um, the continued arrests that you are seeing happening across the country uh, is a clear indication that uh, demonstrations have been effective and they are still going on. If they were not hunting us down, it would be mean that uh, we, we have not been effective. So um, it is good to uh, thank Kenyans because they heeded to a peaceful way of demonstrating. You remember when we called for, for this last week, we clearly said that do it your way, resist your, in, your, in your style. And um, demonstrating not just coming out and uh, you know, learning after one another. So this is uh, one of the things that have succeeded and we're happy about it. And as our, our leader within Parliament has said, next week we'll give more details as to what uh, follows. Um, and it is, uh, it's also, of course, uh, useful to ask uh, those in authority um, to allow people to have their freedoms. Uh, curtailing uh, people's freedom is not useful, it's not in our constitution. And it's amazing how quickly we can uh, lose all the gains that we got uh, through our 2010 constitution. But Kenyans need to know that um, they are the source of power in this country. They are the ones who, uh, who are seized of the sovereign power and they have demonstrated it in the last three days. And we ask them to know, and to know that uh, we cannot allow mis mis um, management of our affairs um, uh, just like that. And um, again, like we have said, uh, I think it's also good to say as uh, leaders that we still continue saying pole to those who lost their loved ones, because again, yesterday, the day before, there were those who were shot. We still have quite a number of people in uh, hospital pia tunawatakia uh, wapone kwa haraka but as a country it is a sad thing to, to go through that kind of a thing at this time lakini hiyo iko namna hiyo dunia iko namna hiyo thank you very much uh, guys thank you asante